Today is Tuesday, and that means today is Two Minute Tuesday. I'm Mark, your host, coming to you from Baker Street Acres. Today, we want to talk a little bit about predation. Now, this is going to be something you're going to deal with mostly uh, when you are raising poultry, especially out on the field, because you're pretty much ringing the dinner bell. And all the wild animals out there that would love to have a chicken dinner are going to come your way. And they're going to do everything they can to get your chickens and your ducks from you while you're trying to catch up on your sleep. So in two minutes or less, we want to try and offer some solutions of how you can curb is I don't think you're ever going to end predation, but curb predation to, a, to an acceptable place. Okay, so Mr. Timekeeper, if you'll put two minutes on the clock, okay. All right, the first way is you can build you what's called a fire control tower. You're gonna to wanna to build that right in the middle of your farm. Um, you're gonna to wanna to get you a rifle with probably a, a night vision scope on it and say goodbye to sleeping through the night for the summer. And you'll sit up in that fire control tower and as soon as you see some little animal sneaking up, you're gonna shoot it. And you may think that you're gonna get a handle on it that way. But I'm here to tell you you're not, because as soon as you kill one of them, somebody's gonna take his place. Okay, so what is the answer? I'm just kidding around there a little bit. The answer is a livestock guardian dog. There are several out there in the part of the country that I live in the ones that are readily available are the Anatolian Shepherd and the Great Pyrenees. The Great Pyrenees is what we use, and we have used these dogs for going on 15 years now. Um, and the way this works is you train the dog to be outside all night. When you go out to do your chores at your chicken tractors to feed and water, take the dog with you. You know, they're gonna wanna walk along with you. And Generally what happens is just the smell of the dog out there is gonna curb <clears throat> any predators from coming in. This is kind of how the Great Pyrenees works, is they sleep outside at night and they'll pick up a place where they wanna sleep. Uh, mine sleep by the back door sometimes, in the barn sometimes. If the dog hears something, and I don't know how they hear it, they're, they're amazing animals, they will make a beeline out there. And if one of the animals they they scare it off, that animal is not likely to come back. Since we've gotten Great Pyrenees dogs, our predation is down to like 99%. Occasionally something goes wrong, but it's usually something that we have done to prevent our dogs from getting out. Like if we let them come in during the night for some reason, there's a bad storm or something, and then it clears off, and, you know, usually it's our fault. Okay, on June 9th, of this year, 2022, we're going to have a pastured poultry class. And in that class, we go through the building of a chicken tractor. Uh, we're going to go through field operations, how we operate those in the field, the ins and outs, getting water to them, getting feed to them, storing feed. But, and then after lunch, we're going to get into pretty intense chicken processing. But during the operation end of the class, we're gonna dive much deeper into the uh, livestock guardian dog. Of course, our dogs will be out with us and you'll be able to see how they operate. And then we'll talk a little bit about the personalities of the dog and how to contain them and how to keep them happy and really how to work with the dog. So that's June 9th, 2022. Remember, anyone can fire me.